फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन गवर्नर एंड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हेलो एवरीवन आई एम संजीव कुमार द फैकल्टी ऑफ पॉलिटी एंड इकोनॉमी एट यूज इन आई एस टूडे आई ब्रिंग अगेन वन हॉट टॉपिक दैट इज फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन गवर्नर एंड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट रिसेंटली यू वेंट थ्रो सेवरल आर्टिकल्स और मीडिया चैनल्स न्यूज या प्रिंट मीडिया न्यूज दैट देर इज अूज फ्रिक्शन और डिफरेंसेस एमोंग गवर्नर दैट इज रवि एंड चीफ मिनिस्टर स्टेलिन ऑफ तमिलनाडु वाई दीज डिफरेंस इज क्रिएटेड लिटिल बिट वी विल रिफ्लेक्ट सम ओपिनियन ऑफ एक्सपर्ट्स फर्दर आई विल डिस्कस नॉट ओनली दिस इशू बट डिफरेंट अदर रिलेटेड इशूज एज वेल वाई बिल आर होल्डेड देर इज कंटिन्यूस होल्डिंग नॉट ओनली फॉर फ्यू डेज मंथ्स बट सेवरल ईयर्स बाई द गवर्नर सो इट एराइजेज क्वेश्चन ओवर डेमोक्रेटिक फंक्शन ऑफ स्टेट गवर्नमेंट फर्दर इट ऑल्सो एराइज इज क्वेश्चन ओवर पेंडिंग लेजिस्लेटिव प्रोसेस विद इन द स्टेट इज दिस अ कंस्टिट्यूशनल टायरेनी मीन्स इफ स्टेट गवर्नमेंट पासिंग द बिल्स दैन वॉट काइंड ऑफ फॉवर्स गवर्नर होल्ड वेदर गवर्नर कैन होल्ड ऑल टाइप ऑफ बिल और सम स्पेशल टाइप्स ऑफ बिल सो वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अबाउट द रिसेंट इशू सो वॉट इज रिसेंट इशू विद रेस्पेक्ट टू तमिलनाडु गवर्नमेंट तमिलनाडु गवर्नमेंट इन जनवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी पास्ट 12 बिल्स दीज वर इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी In Jan 2020, Tamil Nadu government or Legislative Assembly passed 12 bills. So, as per Article 200, there is a provisions that first bill need to be introduced by any member of the house, means Legislative Assembly. Then it need to go through first reading, second and third reading, and finally it put for vote within the third reading. all the clause sub clause of the bills together put in front of the assembly and people member of assembly used to give their vote in favor a yes or noes in favor or against so these 12 bills were passed then government governor keep them holding keep them holding continuously till very recent time governor did not take any kind of action now what is inside these bills why governor did not take any such action so most of these bills are associated with respect to appointment of vice chancellor within the state university governor who is considered as chancellor of state universities has authority to appoint the vice chancellor now stan government want to take this authority from the governor and shift this authority under the cm under government of state to appoint the vice chancellor of various universities so these provisions or bills having some contentious issues means governor was not happy to transfer the authority for appointment of vice chancellor and some other matters associated with the university welfare etc under the governor to a state government so he kept holding these bills then mr stalin 
रीच टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट फॉर कंटिन्यूस पेंडिंग ऑफ दीज बिल्स स्टेल इन रीच टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड आस्क फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम कोर्ट टू गिव द डायरेक्शन टू गवर्नर ऑफ स्टेट टू टेक इमीडिएट एक्शन ऑन सच बिल्स विच आर पेंडिंग फ्रॉम सिविल ईयर्स और मंथस so supreme court as per constitutional provisions especially with respect to article 200 of indian constitution held that generally it is expected by constitutional provision that governor should take immediate action as soon as possible yeah, as soon as feasible after passage of such bill from the state assembly it is unfortunate it is constitutional tyranny or it is unnecessary intervention of the supreme court it is very much unfortunate that a state government or political party is reaching to the supreme court to pass the bill or to give directions to the governor of a state for taking action over the pending bills so it is hindering in legislative process it is hindering in a smooth functioning of the democracy after directions of the supreme court governor ravi of tamil nadu written 10 bill out of 20 he written 12 bills uh out of 12 he written 10 bills to the state assembly as he written without mentioning the message or giving any kind of description why he has written why he written to the state assembly mr stalin call for a special session to adopt again these bills if a state assembly adopted these bills then governor become bounded governor become bounded to give his assent over these bills means governor cannot hold cannot reject such bills if a state assembly passed again still mr ravi is holding the two bills this is not very isolated issue similar to it we can also discuss the story of kerala government so mohammad arif the governor of kerala similarly last year kerala government passed 12 uh, 11 bills Kerala Assembly, eleven bills were passed. After keeping hold these bills for five six months, five will receive the assent, and six bill remain on hold. he kept on holding now some of the bills were related to appointment of vice chancellor or university affair and one of the will was also related to lok yukta governor mohammad arif held that it is my constitutional duty to protect to safeguard the legislative enactment with respect to constitutional provision means i am doing my duty as per constitutional provision the tax uh, which is written within these six bills need to be amended need to be changed that is not uh, as per democratic values it is not as per constitutional provisions so i am holding these bills so 
six bills remain holding. Further, Supreme Court also held that, you know, similar kind of incident we also notice in Punjab. Some of the incident in other state where generally the opposition party means any other party except BJP is ruling the state. Such kind of problems generally happening more and more over there. Further, state government of Kerala, Tamil Nadu, state government of West Bengal, Punjab, okay. All such generally faces such kind of problem for holding of bills or governor. Most of the time do not work as per advice of council of minister. So here just have a look over the structure of the state government. Now I am going to describe basic features of the state government or yeah, basic structure of the state government. So, a state government comprised of executive, legislative and the judiciary. Executives means who bears the responsibility to take action, who implemented the law or policies of the government within the state. So, chief executive head is governor, which is ceremonial head, not the real head. The chief minister is the real head. He is assisted by council of minister. Council of minister comprised of cabinet minister and minister of state. May be independent, may be attached to the cabinet. Legislative may be the unicameral or may be the bicameral. At present, six state have bicameral legislature. These comprise of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Karnataka. Else other states have unicameral, only the legislative assembly, house of people within the state. At center, we have the Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. Similarly, in six states, we have legislative assembly, lower house and legislative council that is upper house other state generally are smaller in size and they do not require second house it also saves the expenditure of the state government further it reduce the differences it also faster the process of legislation and uh, govern, government sometimes also feel more confident if there is one house. But sometimes it becomes compulsion and there is a more requirement within the larger state, geographically and politically. So as per article 169, if a state assembly passed a resolution, with two-third majority that there should be a second house or legislative council within the state, then parliament can make such provisions for establishing a legislative council. Similarly, if legislative assembly of the state pass a bill or resolution that the legislative council of the state should be abolished, then parliament can also abolish. So it is generally the power although finally held by the parliament held by the central government but still it more depend over the state government whether it require or does not require judiciary comprised of high court most of the states in india have their own high court while some of the states generally the smaller state they have some common high court some of the states like punjab and uh, haryana also have one Chandigarh High Court, Common High Court. Generally, almost all districts have a district court and there are also the subordinate court or a special court to deal with some special matters. So, 
here I am talking about the state executive that is governor. Governor is nominal head as per article 153 the governor is appointed by the president. Other eligibility criteria like he should be more than 35 years, he should be citizen of India or main criteria is he should be senior leader of particular political party or very close to the prime minister of India, a government of India. So, council of minister headed by prime minister, generally PM recommended to president to appoint such a person in which he has the confidence to discharge all such functions at the post of the governor. Now, governor hold this post during the pleasure of president means there is no definite criteria for appointment for election or there is no definite criteria for removal of the governor. So governor work just like during the pleasure of president until or unless central government particularly the prime minister is happy with the act of the governor governor may remain within the office because it is also very controversial matter governor with respect to president has very less security within the state whenever there is change in the government then in bulk governor are appointed and removed means governor belongs to the ruling party almost all the governor belongs to the ruling party but he is nominal head because he is not elected and our constitutional framework deliberately made him the nominal head rather than real head so that there can be only one master which can take effective and efficient decision within the state if there will be two masters within the state then somewhere we need to share power differently and uh, we need to you know make the balance further it become very difficult critical situation if some of the power purges under the governor and some of the power remain under the CM just like you can consider most of the time Mr. Kejriwal or Delhi government versus Lieutenant Governor of Delhi because some of the power related to land, related to police, okay, uh, remain within the Lieutenant Governor, under the Lieutenant Governor, while most of other powers remain under Delhi CM. So, continuous transfer over there. So that's why constitutional holder or framers made it very diligent provision with good clarity that chief minister should be head of the state means real executive head of the state actual head of the state. Now it is assisted by council of minister within the state the size of council of minister should not exceed 15% of total strength of the assembly. Civil servant with respect to each and every department and ministry, they continuously assist, provide a think tank or generally responsible for formation of most of the policies or laws within the state. Advocate general with respect to legal matters, he act as legal advisor to the state government and defend the state government whenever the interest of state government remains. Now, legislative powers of the governor, the executive power of the governor generally regarding the appointment of various authorities or regarding removing various officers, authorities under the state. Now here I am going to discuss the legislative power. 
mainly because the current matter is associated with legislative power so legislative power first governor can nominate one six person within the legislative council one six of total members in legislative council means here especially in six state governor has such power up bihar maharashtra andhra pradesh telangana and karnataka here governor can nominate one six member of legislative council then he can summon the state legislature or prorogue you prorogue whenever house dissolve or he think fit this is the situation for summoning the house as per advice of council of minister or if there is uh, no chance for appointment of the gover government means there is no condition that uh, any party can rule all party are in minority position and no party is able to form gover government of its own then government governor can dissolve assembly as well or governor can prorogue after after ending the session of the legislative assembly now every bill passed by the state legislature need to receive the assent of the governor assent means signature any bill bill means set of rules and regulation in favor of something that state government want to regulate so it require governor assent without assent it cannot be implemented the day the time on which governor assent give his assent that will came into force it started to implement within the within the state so governor has here four alternatives as per article 200 of indian constitution after passes of the bill from the state assembly it need to be sent to the governor then governor if give his assent to the bill then bill become an act and it can enforce into the state suppose that just like recent uh, matters governor if withhold then withhold means rejected here word withhold is somewhere more moderate word constitution framers might think it a kind of situation which should not create a gulf or difference between the governor action and uh, intention of the state government with respect to particular bill so deliberately they make the provision of withholding the assent without any time frame or limit governor can hold such bill for indefinite time period for very long time period means there is no such provision as mentioned within usa constitution in india we do not have a definite time limit like 10 days like one month like six month there is no such time limit now he can return to legislative assembly accept the money bill because in case of money bill governor's prior recommendation is required so governor already gave its own approval uh, means generally agreed or give his consent to introduce money bill within the state and this is special provisions for the money bill money bills are associated with uh, you know imposition abolition regulation alteration deletion of any kind of tax within the state suppose that agriculture tax so he can return to the legislature further 
he may reserve bill for consideration of precedent means some of the bills a find suitable for consideration of opinion of president he can also reserve them now we will discuss each each provision in detail a scope for discretionary power of the governor means what kind of discretionary power governor hold generally governor need to work as per advice of council of minister governor need to work within the state according to advice of council of minister but in some of the special case he also have some discretionary authority particularly when prime minister has resigned government fall there is no government after particular general election if no party come into the power in full majority then in certain cases governor has his discretionary role further with respect to legislative enactment particularly because we are discussing holding or uh, this blockages of legislative process ya hindrances in legislation within the state so situation of withholding the assent automatically governor discretionary power will cover gradually one by one so here if there is a private member bill means bill has been introduced by any member other than the minister of